Hi everyone, I'm Melissa Drum, and today I'm going to show you how to create an index for your book in Microsoft Word. Uh, to demonstrate, I'm using an excerpt from one of TCK's books called Unlimited Memory. So to get started on your index, the first thing you want to do is add page numbers, since an index is of course going to lead readers to specific pages. To do that, you want to go to insert and then page number. Choose the position you'd like them in. And then hit OK. There are page numbers. So next we're going to start marking index entries. So I think we should make beliefs into an index entry since it's an important recurring theme in this book. I'm going to highlight it, go to references, and click on mark entry. So we want to make sure that our entry is lowercase since index entries are only capitalized um, if they're proper nouns. And since I want the index to lead to every instance of the word beliefs, I'm going to just click on mark all. So you can see the XE tags that appear in the text. There are a few others in here that are already marked as well. If you want to make these invisible, you can go to the home tab, click on the paragraph symbol, that will make them go away. Um, you can also edit the text in these quotes if you would like to edit your entries, how they appear in your index. So next word we're going to mark, I'm gonna scroll down here, and we're going to mark the word focus. Okay, mark entry. Um, I want this one to have a sub entry uh, since this is going to be a common category to make it easier to navigate. We're going to give a sub entry, in this case, negative. So I will put that in here, click mark. You can see that showed up with a colon. Next, we're gonna do the same thing over here, except the sub-entry here is going to be positive. Okay. So next, here's an image that I would like to reference in the index. So I'm going to click on the image and hit mark entry. The dialog comes up blank, so I can enter my entry and sub-entry manually. Uh, in this case, I want my entry to be negative belief frame. So I'm gonna use the word belief as my main entry, since I know it's already in there. And then I'm going to do negative, comma, frame, that comma stands in for belief in this phrase. And then I'm going to click italic to indicate that it is an image and click mark. So once you've created all of your marked entries, you wanna go down to the bottom of your document or wherever you would like your index to appear. Click there and go to insert index. Now you can choose your style, indented, which gives every sub-entry its own line, run in, which mushes them all together. Good for saving space, but indented is a little bit cleaner looking. Uh, you can choose your style, your number of columns, hit Okay, and there's your index. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. 
Feel free to leave a comment on this video and let us know if you have any questions. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and check out our other tutorials for writers and authors at tckpublishing.com.